Good evening and welcome to our prayers on this Ash Wednesday. It's so good to be with you as we begin this time of Lent together. My name is Reverend Gemma Stock and I'm the priest in charge here at St Thomas's and I'll be leading you through this time as we mark the beginning of Lent. Normally well, we would gather together and uh, we would have ash mixed with oil and we'd make the sign of the cross on our foreheads and have Holy Communion together. We are again in different times this Lent. Um, I realise that for some that may well be painful and difficult, um, perhaps even for different reasons than not being able to gather because there's a lot going on for many of us at this time. But I hope this evening um, will be a time of hope as well as remembering that we are created by God and redeemed by him, even in our sin, even in the things that we would do and say that would separate us from one another and from him. So this evening as we gather, we're going to have a time of uh, quietness and uh, remembering, uh, confessing, uh, and that will... Uh, obviously lead us into uh, remembering the ashes. Where, um, you may well have some ashes of your own at home if you've done something like that, but we will just literally make the sign of the cross on our foreheads together uh, to remember. But hopefully, even though it's different, it will be a time no less special. And uh, I pray particularly for those of us who are really keenly struggling today, that you will meet with Jesus and his grace. So as we begin our time, <clears throat> we begin with our usual verses from the Bible, just to bring us into this time of worship and encourage us. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And as we come now, we reflect just on the day that has been and perhaps offer to God anything that we would like to ask his help with. We'll come to a time of uh, just looking at forgiveness, but if there's anything that is on your mind at this time, let's just spend time giving it to the Lord. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Amen. We come now to our psalm, which is Psalm 51. If you'd like to say it along with me, that would be great. You can also listen to it and use it for your prayers and praises this evening in the way you feel led. So we're going to use Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. 
Hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are my God, my Saviour, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then I will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The verse that stood out to me in that psalm was, Cleanse me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. And uh, with the snow we had recently, I think that's probably partly why it stood out to me. But also this picture of um, just clean and white being really uh, in my mind because of seeing that snow and that illustration uh, when you haven't seen snow for a while um, you can sort of imagine it but it doesn't stand out in the same way but with this it really stood out to me and uh, when we look at that sort of pure driven snow whiteness and think about this verse it it can feel unattainable because we know that we make mistakes we know that we even do things on purpose sometimes knowing that it will hurt other people or knowing that it's not the right thing and uh, having that picture sometimes can feel uh, too unattainable but actually partly what we do on Ash Wednesday is to remember that we are mortal, that we are created, um, and that we have, since the fall, needed God's redemption. And the cross, remembering that not only from dust we came and to dust we all return, but that we can turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. He is the one who restores our righteousness, who cleans us with the hyssop and washes us that we are clean for good because of what God has done for us. We may still need to confess our sins because we mess up, but we are saved because of what Jesus has done for us. Uh, and it also reminds me of Peter, when he is having his feet washed, uh, you know, he says about, oh, wash my, wash everything, Lord, don't just wash my feet. And Jesus makes a comment about, well, actually, if you've had a bath, you just need to wash your feet. And that's what Jesus has done for us. He has cleaned us, but sometimes we need our feet washing because of the journeys we take through life and the ways that we get taken off course into things uh, that are not right and are not of God. So today we might well do a spring clean. If you're going to think of a, a different uh, way of putting it, it's a spiritual spring clean that we begin during Lent. It begins today and continues uh, throughout the 40 days, um, apart from the Sundays. And... Uh, if you think about it in that way, we usually normally do jobs that we can't get to normally. We would clean our houses, obviously, um, but on spring cleans, we tend to go all out, don't we? We might get behind the sofa, 
and hoover all of the sofas or something or we might get into cupboards and clean them that we don't normally get into we might even get behind the fridge and clean behind there like it's it's normally you know sort of that above and beyond <laughs> a real sort of thorough going through stuff maybe even a clear out sometimes we do that don't we and have just a big clear out of things that you know we need or don't need and actually sometimes we find either hidden nasties that we weren't aware of that we need to get rid of or and um, we realize about some things i don't really need that um, I don't know why I've kept this all this time. And in our spiritual spring cleaning, even though it might not be so easy to do, similar to when we clean our houses and do a spring clean, it's not always a fun job, it's not always pleasant but necessary, um, it's the same thing again. But the difference is we're never called to do it alone. Obviously, we might be able to get lots of help with spring cleaning, um, other times but usually it's something we just end up getting on with isn't it um, we might have our household come help us whereas with with our spiritual spring cleaning we do it together as church so we do lent together we share in the experience as a church family and we do individual things perhaps and then do them together or even you know confess together like we would do today and hopefully we're able not just to share the experience, but help one another in cleaning house, so to speak. And not just that, God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit is helping us. Will we allow Jesus to teach us and show us different aspects of our lives that perhaps God the Father might be pruning, might be getting rid of, that are not so good for us, that stop us growing perhaps the holy spirit might reveal to us truth things that might be less noticeable to us at other times it can feel vulnerable but it's we we can trust in god's mercy and goodness it's not a punishment i think often when we look at Lent and times like this, we can easily think, oh, it's, it's punishment. I, I need to re you know, repent and punish myself. God's kindness leads us to repentance. He is good. We can trust his judgment. He's righteous. He's merciful. He's not aiming for us to punish ourselves in this time. Actually, when we think of this time it's about self-discipline and uh, if we think about it in terms of cleaning our house it might not be always what we want to do but we choose it because we know we need to we know if we left hidden nasties around then we could end up with ants or mice and we wouldn't want that you know it, we know that actually it's it's necessary to keep the, our health and in the same way our spiritual spring cleaning is about our spiritual health and choosing good choices that are going to keep us spiritually healthy so we're going to spend just some time in reflection and confession now and um, i'm going to lead us through some prayers um it may well be you'd like to focus on the candle that's burning next to me just to remind you of jesus light of the world who is present in this process bringing light to our darkness it may well be you want to just close your eyes however you feel comfortable let's just spend some time reflecting and praying together now let us call to mind our sin and the infinite mercy of god God the Father, 
have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Trinity of love, have mercy upon us. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, for your goodness. We are sorry for the things that we have done that hurt you and others. We are sorry for the ways that we have sometimes chosen to do things, say things or think things, even though we know that they're wrong. We have not loved you or others as much as we could. Lord, we are sorry. We have not helped others as Jesus helped us. Lord, we are sorry. We have been impatient. Lord, we are sorry. We have been quick to be angry. Lord, we are sorry. We have been jealous of others. Lord, we are sorry. We have told lies, hidden truth. Lord, we are sorry. We have forgotten to pray. Lord, we are sorry. Hear us and help us, Lord. Work through us so that we can share your goodness and love in the world. Show us the joy and new life that Jesus brings. Amen. And just in this time, there may well be particular things, more specific things that you want to ask for God's forgiveness for. Let's just give space in the quiet uh, for us to do that together. where we would normally come to receive our ash crosses. Just invite you to say the words that will come up on the screen with me. And if you feel comfortable um, to just sign yourself with the cross. We remember that we are but dust and to dust we shall return. Turn away and be faithful to Christ. As we now come to a, a time of prayer, please do feel free uh, to comment with your prayers or prayer requests. You can just pray quietly where you are. 
however we choose to. Let's pray together. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain, especially anyone who is grieving loss at this time. Knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. In this time, please do feel free to comment with your prayers or prayer requests for those you know who are struggling in this way, or simply to pray generally for those who are ill or grieving in these times. Lord God, draw close to those we have named in the comments and in our hearts this day. Stretch out your hand of healing and comfort. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Lord God, we are mindful of those who are struggling with provision, finances or different working situations at this time. Again, let's just name before the Lord. There may well be particular people or situations. Uh, if it's appropriate, you may name people in the comments, but let's lift those people and situations to the Lord together now. For all those we have named before you, Lord, we lift them in at their well-being at this time. We lift them in their needs. And Lord, we ask for your presence, your provision and your refreshing, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we come now to pray for the countries of the world, the UK and beyond. There may well be particular countries that are on your heart or situations that you've seen on the news. Perhaps family in other countries. Let's just lift the world and its people before the Lord now. Lord God, we thank you that you care for the world and are at work in it. As we have lifted countries and peoples, leaders and situations before you, Lord, we trust in your unfailing goodness and kindness and ask that you would help us as your people, uh, your children, the created uh, human beings and stewards of this place. 
to answer our prayers in the way we would live as well as trusting in your hand. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And finally we bring ourselves, those we live with, our homes, our communities, our friends and families before the Lord. Visit these places, these people, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we draw our prayers together with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. as we have remembered God's goodness and mercy, as we have confessed and known his forgiveness by the marking of ourselves with the cross, we join together and sing together in Christ alone. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love. And righteousness scorned by the ones he came to save Till on that cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again, and as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me, for I am his, and he is mine, born with the breath. Just blood of Christ Ooh. No guilt in life, no fear in death This is the power of Christ 
rest in me From life's first cry to final breath Jesus commands my destiny No power of hell, no scheme of man Could ever pluck me from his hand Till he returns or calls me home Here in the power of Christ I'll stand No power of hell, no scheme of man Could ever block me from his hand Till he returns or calls me home Here in the power of Christ I'll stand Thank you for joining us as we have prayed and worshipped, confessed and known God's forgiveness this evening. Please do join us again uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 we continue to pray together and on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning we join together for our worship. So please do continue to join us. If you have been responding to God for the first time recently, or you would like to explore faith further, or you would just simply like some support at this time, please do private message us or use the contact details in the description. You are most welcome and we would love to see what we can do to help and support you. During this time of Lent, uh, we're also having an opportunity to join together and speak to one another over Zoom. So if you are interested in gathering on Tuesday evenings at eight o'clock over Zoom, please do contact us and we'll send you the Zoom link details. Um, we are also joining in uh, some Bible uh, reflections together. And if you'd like the notes for those, because you'd like to do that just on a personal level, uh, please again do contact us and we can send them to you. As we close our time together though and begin this time of Lent, please do look after one another and look after yourselves. And we finish with God's blessing. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. God bless you and good night.